So you've been having some gastrointestinal symptoms and you've read about, or maybe your provider even has mentioned that perhaps you have IBD, which is an umbrella term for Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. What are the signs and symptoms of Crohn's and ulcerative colitis? Let's take each individually. So Crohn's disease, what are some of the symptoms that you might have? Because Crohn's disease can involve anywhere from the mouth all the way to the anal canal, it's going to depend on where that inflammation is. So you may be having nausea and vomiting. You may have abdominal pain that happens an hour or two after you eat and then resolves within a few hours. You may have diarrhea. Whether there's blood in that diarrhea or not depends again on whether there is any inflammation in your colon also known as the large intestine. You may actually have what may be you are considering boils around your bottom. Not very glamorous and certainly not something that you wanna talk about, but certainly important for a provider to know about because that may be an indication that inflammation is now continuous and through the GI tract into the outside world, and that's what's causing these little boils or fistulas. For ulcerative colitis, signs and symptoms include diarrhea, bloody diarrhea, at cramping, and maybe some nausea. The bleeding can be so bad that you may feel very fatigued and have anemia. There are patients who actually have constipation rather than diarrhea if they have ulcerative colitis because the rectum is so inflamed that it just really doesn't want to do any work and so you don't go to the bathroom because it's so inflamed. So it can be obviously a wide variety of different GI symptoms that can be for either one of those diagnoses and some overlap. You can have fevers, you can actually have a a lot of fatigue, especially if you're having to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, that we see more frequently in ulcerative colitis. But there's lots of symptoms that will overlap because of the GI tract being involved. Crohn's disease actually comes in three different forms. The inflammatory Crohn's disease is what's going to give you pain and diarrhea. The Scarring type is what's going to give you the nausea and the vomiting and the pain after you eat. So if you don't eat, you don't have pain. And then what we call penetrating is when the inflammation has penetrated all of the layers of your GI tract and through the wall so it penetrates through and that you end up having infection and boils and drainage from an abnormal part of your body. Because Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis can present in so many different ways depending on the location and the severity. So it's really important that you keep track of your symptoms and talk to your provider and share all of your symptoms so that the appropriate diagnosis can be actually made.